Hey Yuzu, how's it going? We have another review here from Quadlock. Uh, the, my special friends here were able to spend, send me some of these products for testing. They sent me over their latest uh, motorcycle mounting system for the handlebar as well as the ball adapter. So as you, as a motorcycle community probably know, we were per, pretty familiar with the, the Ram X grip mount. So then the phone essentially clamps on it here and then holds the foam pretty steady. The only problem with this setup is that it hits the volume button as well as it hits the power button. And if you're stuck on a ride, the phone eventually turns off and then it messes with your volume. So it's really annoying with the rides. So I was in market for kind of a new new mounting system. And another reason that another system was that this thing is so big, it looks like a wart on your on your on your bike. So that's my uh, triumph fob right there. Usually when it's on the on the bike. Kind of looks like this. You guys are pretty, pretty familiar with this setup right here. Look how ugly that looks. It raises the profile completely. You know, destroys the aesthetic of any bike, no matter how cool it is. And especially if you mount the phone right here. Oh, look at that. Functional, it works, but looks ugly. So now we have the new, the new, new. We have the one-inch ball adapter here from uh, Quadlock. So how this works is that they uh, sell you, uh, they sell a case specifically for your phone. In my case, it's Note 9, and it just looks like this. Four ridges right there. Have it come on, have it come right on the back of it. Push. Just like that. And then it has a nice snap. And look at that, super sturdy. It's not going anywhere. And this is extreme cases that the phone will never flip flop around like that. So for the guys that uh, travel a lot through a lot of rain, a lot of highway miles, they even got you with a poncho that fits specifically for your case. So you kind of want to go on the bottom first. Just pop it on. It takes a little effort. that there we go here's the poncho on the case and because most likely your phone's gonna be upward facing rain will not penetrate from underneath so this is pretty sturdy goes a little bit reflective so so that is that so let me show you the so let me show you how this competes with X grip. So this is how the bike looks with the Ram X grip. This is how you normally get on the bike with the X, the X grip from Ram mounts. Put it right there. In this case, right sturdy. You know, it's not going anywhere. The only problem, like I mentioned, was that it kind of bothers your your side buttons depending on the phone you have. So let me show you now how the quad locks look on this bike. And it's very simple to change it out. You know, if you have the Ramo system, you don't understand, you just whip it out with this. Put it down. And there you go. So now, this is how the bike looks with the new quad lock. Look how clean and low profile it looks. Especially when the phone is not mounted uh, on the bike. So this is what I've always been striving to look for. Something that didn't raise the profile of the bike. I mean, I went through all the effort of flipping the OEM mirrors to get that lower, the lower look. And I really did not like that spider looking grip popping out when, you're, when your phone wasn't mounted. So like this, when it's when you're standby looking bike, it looks really clean. So just based off this, I really like it. And if you buy this currently, it does come with a blue tab, but if you pay extra, you can definitely get this black tab and just put it on yourself. It's definitely handy. So let me try how it goes on. Like that. And here's a snap that really shows that it's secure. There's one thing about this though, um, make sure that the grips are really tight because the force that you do to push it 
does exert some force on your ramp, on your mounts. So if it's not really tight, you'll be pushing the entire arm down. So take it off. That. Nice secure snap. This is how it looks underneath. Overall, I'm really happy with it. So this is another shot of uh, the motorcycle handlebar mount. This is how it comes disassembled. Pop this off, pop the two screws off. Come take this out and then basically match how this will be on your handlebar. So let me show you how it all looks. This is the Qualdox motorcycle handlebar kit. As you can see, it's mounted around the handlebar. A really sleek look. Personally, I think this is now my new favorite because look how, how sleek it looks. Especially with the phone on it and even better when it's not on it. You can change this to black if you want. But without it, it just looks so much more streamlined now. You know, I always thought the x mount would look so kind of geeky and so, so cheap. It's just mounted on and especially after all the work of everything being streamlined on the bike, wires hidden and everything, you're just going to bolt something on like that. So it was really cool that, uh, you know, x I mean, So it was really cool when Quadlock wanted to upgrade their system too. So this is how the original look of the X-Grip looked like. So a lot of riders know about this one. It's, it's, it's been really handy and good for all these years. But, you know, and no one honestly liked that look on the bike. Look at it. It's, it's horrendous looking. It looks like a dead tarantula. So, and it's simple to use. One hand, get the nice snap. Boom. So tell me what you guys think. If it was, it was for my money and I had to start all over again, I'd definitely get the quad lock motorcycle handlebar kit. I think it looks really good, really sleek. It matches, it's gonna match everyone's bike. The only question is, do you have the clearance for the handlebar? They give you three different type of adapters. So most likely it will, but it's just all the other wiring situation. Second place, I'll definitely be using the Ram mount with the one inch ball adapter. And in third place, it would be the x grip from Ram Mel. Don't get me wrong, this will still hold your bike. I've ridden with this for hundreds of miles. But with just talking about aesthetics, I think this has, it, has the money. So right now, it still looks a little janky because I got this on. But once I delete this all again, you can just imagine how great that's going to look. And this is completely adjustable. You have adjustment point right there as well as there. So, I just need to tie these bolts up and we're all, we're all good. And after making final adjustments, yeah, it, it will not block your indicators. So I've set it just below my neutral and head high beams. So I definitely will be migrating to this system and be removing this. And also the thing about the good, good thing is that if you don't want to remove this, you can actually uh, transform the system to be a GoPro system. And the most exciting news about all this also, there's uh, in a couple of months, Quadlock is actually going to release a wireless wireless charging system, so they'll be changing the head to add a wireless uh, charging system underneath this. So along with the streamlined look, you're going to be do wireless charging as well. Of course, there's going to be a cord that comes along the way, but you know, two for one, it's going to look really sweet. So I can't wait for that uh, to come out from Quadlock. But overall, look at this great design, completely streamlined. I mean, for my bike, it almost looks OEM factory, especially with the matching finishings of the silver, silver screws matching the OEM screws. Look at that. Beautiful. Version 1, version 2, or version 3? What do you prefer? And let me know if you have, if you have the quad lock yourself. I'd like to know the long-term reviews, how well these have held up, you know. But you can see side by side how everything looks. So let me know what you guys think. Please comment below. I'll definitely put the links to the product in my description. And thank you very much for coming and watching. Peace.